We're continuing our conversation about black men and black women's place in society and how it affects relationships. I'm definitely pro-black love, but I'm pro-love too, you know, so yeah. if you find someone who Latino, white, whatever the case may be, and you're attracted to them, go for it. We have a role to play, and I think a lot of sisters sometimes get so frustrated with us that they want to walk outside and just say, you know what, there are other options. You got brothers that probably don't get checked out by sisters at all, you know? And then you have, within our culture, the segregation of the light-skinned dog skin. Do black women date up to increase their status? I mean, given the celebrity culture, the reality TV culture, you know, that, that seems to be, you know, a prominent goal for a lot of black women. And not all, but, you know, a lot. So the fact that you're with a guy who has a certain celebrity, not necessarily on TV, but maybe in the hood mm -hmm. or maybe around town, you know, right. it, just, it just makes you that much more of a boss chick. Yeah, I have this conversation with a couple of friends from time to time, and I'm like, it, you never see... It's very rare that you see like a celebrity female with a regular guy versus a celebrity male when he can pull a, you know, a regular lady, so to say, like a non-celebrity counterpart, you know? In most cases, it's always um, the lady has, her dude has to be, I hate to say the man, but kind of like the man, right, right. you know? I mean, look at Beyonce. Out of all the dudes that she could have picked in the world, she picked Hove. And listen, I, I'm from Brooklyn. Hove's my man. But Where else let's keep it 100. Go? Where else was she going to go? I'm saying let's just keep it 100. He's not really, right. you know, but status-wise, he's the man. He's yeah. almost like Obama right. when he walk in the room. So, yeah, I, zero. And, and dating up, like, I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to even, I'm still trying to climb this ladder. And what is up, and then how, what's the middle, and then what's down? I know what down is. I think we all yeah. have been very familiar with it. But Absolutely. dating up, I mean, I really don't want a sister who feels like she's, like, I'm her escape route. I don't. Like, don't. you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, don't want a sister who thinks I'm her, her way out the hood, quote unquote. Because that means that she, I'm Dependent her. Dependent on you. Are you, like, over the top? <laughs> over the top, stuff. right. You know, it's one thing to depend on me, like, oh, you know, we're sleeping in a bed and you hear something in the kitchen and you're like, babe, go look. And I can run and go look. I get it. But the constant, like, right. every little thing, like, right. it, it's also sexy to see a lady that can do her own. This is to true. me, true. personally. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you guys can agree. Right. Um, this is definitely a, a turn off. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to kind of, I think balance is more important than anything. Right. I think, and I think the biggest celebrity example, you know, we're talking celebrities, I mean, Amber Rose, you know, and, and it flips both ways, too, because Kanye prided himself in taking this Stripper. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> with, with a bald head. Right. You know, just a white so girl like that. complete, completely. Not really white, but look white. Because I know she's not white. Right. But, she's I mean, no Rachel Dozel. Right, 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 right. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, it wasn't a traditional side piece, no, so he no. took her and made her hot. Right. And now, if you look at her, her last few relationships, you know, been yeah, downgrades. She, but at the same time, she's still. Would you know? She didn't. She didn't. Get oh, her. she definitely go back to the crib. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. No, no. Not she a, kept not, it in not, that not same circle. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. absolutely. It, but it's it's funny because it looks like she went. Her relationships went up a tax bracket. Like after Kanye, like they stayed in a realm of like of wealth. Yeah. And like you like well, if you get access to that, that those kind of rooms, like no wonder ball players, rappers, whatever, like you, you ain't moving. She ain't never coming out of that nah, tax bracket. My chances are done. <laughs> Most females that I've kind of run into that are like my age, or I, I'm gonna say, believe that we're kind of all in the same age bracket yeah. right now, that are like in our age bracket, mentally, they don't think that way. Not all of them. Right. I've definitely encountered some that still kind of want to do it the right way, kind of like how their mamas did it, right. you know? Um, and then there's, you know, the, the new age and these girls, everybody, you know, if you don't got 15K followers on Instagram, if you don't pop 100 average on likes, you just not right. right. They're you know, they not feeling you. Right. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky, but I think it's all, I think society plays a, a huge part in all of this, so. Do you think black men and women's place in society affects our relationships? I think it should actually make it stronger, honestly. Oh, um, nice, very nice. I would, I, that's, see, but that's just the optimistic Mafo speaking, you know? <laughs> I would love that to happen. I would hope that because it seems as if everybody's so against us right. and everybody wants to see this black love not exist or die, mm. that we all should kind of stick together. Like, this is what they don't want. Right. So let's make sure this shit works, right, yeah. you know? So we can kind of smear it in their face a little bit more. Right. But it doesn't go that way. I, I think it really is dependent on what that couple 
-hmm. is trying to accomplish, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. If they're in, you know, a black city like D.C. Right. and trying to keep up with the Joneses, you know, trying to obtain the status quo, uh, especially on the mid-level celebrity scene, mm -hmm. yeah, that would definitely affect the relationship, what they're trying to do. Right. Especially if the black woman, mm -hmm. you know, always has to be done up you know, anytime mm -hmm. they go to the grocery store, oh, or if the black up. if the black man is running around oh. hustling just trying to get his rim game up, rim game. Ah. you know, talk to him. So you know that what their focus and goal is to fit in society, mm -hmm. you know that that affects it too, mm -hmm. you know. And and I I'll, I agree with you. I agree with both of you. You were saying like our status shouldn't, I mean, our status in society should bring us together. But I feel like what that status has done is, is so divisive that it only creates a, an internal jealousy. Like we are jealous of one another's positions even when we all recognize that the bottom is where we still are. That's internal. Yeah, that's and it's internal. Person, that's personal. Yeah, that's you personal, know, like, that's personal. Unfortunately, I can't do anything for you if you feel that way. Right. Because what I have going here is working really right. well. Right, you know? so, <laughs> right, right. I'm sorry, right. but maybe you can work on that. Right. You know, so. Not my issue. Right. No. So it kind of, I Bottom feel like it, it goes, right, it goes it's hand in hand. It kind of goes both right. ways. Right. Um, I definitely agree with what he was saying as well, yeah, but yeah. the same token, it's like what they don't want to see, we should put it in their face even more. I agree. I'm that person. How do you feel about black women being told to date outside of their race? I feel like it depends on what type, their definition of a black man, you know, mm -hmm. and when we're, we're talking about this subject, their definition of a black man is, a guy who brings home 100K but has a washboard stomach and lays the pipe in the bedroom. Well, I, don't got the, I don't got the 100K, but... But, I mean, they... The <laughs> but, but, but they want that... And, and I'm, I'm talking as far as the statistics, right, right, you know, right, the ones yeah. who are saying they can't find a good black man. You know, they right. want Tay Diggs. They want Morris Chestnut. Right. And not, not you know, that actor per se, but right. the guy who they play in the movies. Right. You know, so I'm definitely pro-black love. But I'm pro love too, right. you know. So yeah. if you find someone who hmm. Latino, white, whatever the case may be, hmm. and you're attracted to them, go for it. Yeah, I I personally don't really have. I don't feel any particular way about it. Hmm. If you feel you need to date a Caucasian, or you need to date an Asian, or you need to date a Hispanic to find your happiness, hmm. so be it. I've dated outside the race, you know. I've had different kinds of girlfriends, and hey, well, it let happens. Me, let me ask you. Let me ask you guys this. Talk to uh, you. You know how you hear the story about the sister yeah. snickering or when, you know, the black guy's walking around with the white girl. Right. <laughs> have, have you ever, like, have you guys personally, or have you ever seen a black dude, with a, you know, a, a group of black guys or one black guy, yeah. and it's a white guy and a black woman, and they're like, look at, look at this, look at this white dude. You know, the... the, uh, the never. The, never. Uh, never. 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 No, I've never seen that. But I, I do, when I see a sister with a, with a white man or any other brother, um, and I see them together, something comes into my mind, just kind of streamlines, and I was just like, well, is she dating him because she couldn't find a brother like me? Yeah. And, and who hurt you? Who hurt, um, and that, that could yeah. come up too. Who hurt you need to come first. And, and you, wanna, you wanna actually understand, like, yeah. is it because of the absence of a presence of a black man that she chose to date, side, date outside the race? We'll never know, we'll never know. But I know that as a black man, we have a role to play, and I think a lot of sisters sometimes get so frustrated with us that they want to walk outside and just say, you know what, there are other options. You try something new, because I mean, at the end of the day, they have friends. They have they 10, 12, 15 friends, black girls, and right. they probably date black men too, right, right. and they share very similar stories. <laughs> right. And it's like, hey, why don't we, or why don't you, or I went on a date with Javier, and that guy was such a sweetheart, and his parents oh, yeah. are from X, Y, and Z. I'm sorry, you know, oh, and it's yeah. and 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 that allows them to say, you know, like if you come to me and say, hey, bro, I'm having relationship issues, and I'm talking to you about my relationship, and right. um, and then you you hit me with the well, you know, I just went on a date with X, Y, and Z, and she just happens to be Swedish or whatever, and I'm like, well, why don't I try that out? You know, right. does she have friends? And then I try that out, and before you know it, it's just kind of like I'm completely for. Right all that mixed interracial day, if that's what you like, if that's what you, one thing that I remember um, Kevin Hart said, he was like, um, he was like, everybody's complaining about, you know, me and my wife, like, you know, like, he got money, he got rich, he left the black girl for the, you know, the girl that wasn't, I guess, black, whatever the case the is, and he was life like, life. he was like, to me, my, my, my response to that is, um, I mean, if I wasn't with her, I wasn't gonna be with you anyway, you know, <laughs> and in reality, kind of is the truth, though, you know, like, you're so concerned with me walking down the street with this white girl or this, 
right. Asian girl. But in reality, if I wasn't walking down with her, I wouldn't be walking down with you either, though. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like your concern is. Why is interracial dating a fascination to some people? Interracial dating is a fascination because, you know, it's part of the culture in itself. It dates back. Black and white, you know, it's night and day. And we're talking culture, you know, they, there might not be a common interest level, you know, but, it, but it, every case is different. So it depends on how that particular person grow up. Like, especially like the most fascinating one is the black woman with the white guy. Right. You know, because a black woman, you know, it's perms, it's R&B music, mm -hmm. you know, with the white guys, lacrosse and Vance. <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm generalizing, yeah. but that's, that's the fascination. So right. what do these two have in common right. to make them actually want to be in a relationship? It is sometimes a sexual relationship. I think the fact that they have nothing in common is yeah. really the... the the, 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 right, right. The that's the ground. biggest piece to the puzzle. Ah. Because they don't have anything in common, ah. that makes it more of an interest. Right. Um, I mean, if I know, I mean, just throwing it out there, this isn't me, but let's just say I know yeah. Tiffany here, she from Brooklyn, she from Bed-Stuy, yeah. she went to this high school, I'm familiar with all of this already, yeah. I'm familiar already, you know, yeah. like I know, you know, I know all of, I kind of know about her before I even know about her in a sense, mm -hmm. versus kind of straying off a little bit and just kind of branching into something completely different. You know, Tabitha, who's from blah, 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 you know, from Long Island, the Hamptons. And I'm from Brooklyn, so to me, that's something it's, completely new. It's an adventure. It's, absolutely. Right. It could work or it could be completely horrible. Right. I've seen both both cases. Um, so I don't really know if it's a, like a, what's the word I'm looking at? I don't know if it's a, a fascination, so to say. Like, I'm, I think I fascinate. Like, I need to get me a mixed girl or a right. white girl. I think it's more of a, if it happens, it happens. But at the same time, it's also an interest. You kind of think about it, like, hmm, hmm. a white girl, mm. hmm. Well, one <laughs> thing I've, I've noticed is that, hmm. in, in piggybacking on both of what you're saying, is like we, in our culture right now, we love the exotic. We love the exotic. Like, if you want to. Oh, yeah. Uh, women, too. I'm mean, vice versa. Like, I hear it more. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, I hear it more, know. actually, that whole hair, good hair, yeah. and I want my baby to look this way. Like, you don't understand. Growing up, yeah. I used to get tormented. <laughs> girls, girls would say, I would never talk to his black ass. <laughs> you know, because I was dark. I was right. the African booty scratcher. Right. You know, so, you know, it's just to me. Then it flips. Oh, no. And that was 30 some odd years ago, you know? So now I can only imagine that it's worse, you right. know? And. You got brothers that probably don't get checked out by sisters at all, right. you know? And then you have, within our culture, the segregation of the light-skinned, dark-skinned, you know? Right. So it's like, we battling within our own battle. Like, we got two battles going Colorism. on right now Colorism. with right. each other, and it's crazy. Right. Right. You know, like, I'm mad at you because you're lighter than me, but at the same time, your sister's mad at you because you're dating the Asian girl. And it's right. like, it's just so much self-tension, right? Right, right. You know, right. Like, I think it's crazy. But as a people, we actually have to realize how that started, you know? I mean, Absolutely. Like, you know, back back to the slave times, you know, Absolutely. the slave master segregated us and had us side-eyed in the light-skinned people, you know, right. like, oh, he get to be in the house, right. you know, yeah. fuck, fuck them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it, it's, it's, it's not right, but it's it's something that's rooted in the black culture that, you know, needs to be... Uprooted. Know, absolutely. Uprooted. Destroyed. Right, right. You know, black is black. Shit.